Mr. Bershnikov, welcome to the Netherlands and thank you very much for uh, giving a few minutes of your time to, um, to our team, Dance to Film. Uh, Mr. Bershnikov, as a dancer you have been uh, adored by millions of people around the, the globe, not just for your graceful uh, dancing and, uh, and technique, but also for your personality on stage as an exceptional actor. Would you be so kind to tell to our Dutch artistic audience uh, how different it is to work with Mr. Krimov, how different it is from your previous works? This project came a couple of years ago. It's been developed very slowly. I've met uh, uh, Dima Krimov in New York, we had mutual friends, and I, I've seen at that time already a few of his pieces in the video, and I was really uh, taken by them. Uh, it's very, um, he's an unusual director. We, we just uh, got to know each other socially, and uh, sort of our friendship began. United States and uh, he, at some point just uh, out of nowhere he observed the way I work you know uh, with my in our center in New York in our foundation and uh, sort of observing me my behavior I guess you know and he proposed this uh, work a very short story by great Russian writer uh, immigrant writer who lived uh, you know in exile in, in France after the revolution, Ivan Bunin, Nobel Prize laureate, and you know, that's a very famous uh, uh, collection of uh, uh, short stories called Dark Alleys. You know, there's a six page or seven page story called In Paris, story of uh, a white army, uh, white Russian army general uh, who lives in Paris now in exile, who kicked have been kicked off uh, uh, out of Russia by the Red Army. Meets very young woman in a Russian restaurant, um, twice younger than himself, and um, their relationship begins. Very simple story. They fell in love. She moves in. He dies in the end. You know, reading newspapers in the Parisian metro. Um, uh, his uh, his style is very unusual. Uh, there's a movement, there's a little bit of dance, which a good friend and great choreographer, Alexei Ratmansky, um, uh, helped us to, uh, to um, sort of glue those things together. And uh, here we are, we had just started in Finland and, uh, and it was an interesting experience to do this on the uh, audience. It plays in Russian and in French with subtitles. And that's, uh, uh, but uh, to work is, is uh, back to original question, you know, being an, a dancer and uh, um, you know, stepping on stage as an actor, I don't see much difference in dynamics of it because um, um, uh, he's working very methodically, like a good choreographer, very instinctively. He prepares his homework uh, and he comes very prepared. And um, he, for him, uh, in, in fact, kind of text, it's a kind of celeb uh, 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 kind of secondary, if you want. First, he sets up a poetic image. It's a poetic collage, kind of, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, he wants the, the, most, uh, the most important thing to evoke uh, um, in in moods of that time, and especially moods of the people who were defeated, lonely, and uh, in, in a country uh, um, of a very difficult time for themselves, you know, and that kind of adjust inev inevitable solitude, <laughs> loneliness, and uh, uh, and, uh, and their rela relationships are based on that self-discovery and discover discovery uh, of each other. You know, it's a sad story, but uh, very romantic and very um, hard kind of same time story. What do you think the audience should expect from this performance? What, uh, of course, 
the team of this collaboration, it's, it's an exceptional team, starting with the Nobel Prize winner, the author, Mr. Ivan Bunin, and then, of course, the very well-known director, very well known for his theatrical excellence, and of course, with your iconic name. Oh, don't Wang exaggerate Wang. about the iconic name. And it's you just do have an iconic name, <laughs> sir. One would think that this, this is already enough attraction to, uh, uh, to bring the audience to, um, to this performance, to this play. What else, beside the team, what else the audience should expect and should experience? In, in your opinion, artistically, where are you aiming with this collaboration? Well, to reach the audience, that's what we are, you know, uh, trying to do. The director trying to uh, reach, uh, he wants to, uh, the, uh, the, the audience experience the same sentiment which he's planning to deliver. And we are just instruments uh, uh, in his hands. Uh, you know, I have, uh, I'm working with phenomenal actress, young woman, Russian, uh, Anna Sinyakina, who are, I understand, the big star in Moscow, you know, uh, she she's, uh, works uh, sometimes on television and uh, cinema. Uh, she's well known, she's extraordinary actress and phenomenal singer. They're all singers, they're all musicians. Uh, and uh, for me, you know, it's an easy task when somebody in front of you delivers that pure, uh, um, pure message. I'm just reacting uh, uh, in her remarks. You know, uh, she makes my life much more simpler on stage. What attracts you to acting? Do you see acting on stage? Do you see it as a replacement of dance? Well, this particular project, it's about people I knew and people I know. It's, it's in, in this character, it's, it's a reflection of my father. He was also in military. People uh, whom I knew, the immigrants of that time, I've met them. Uh, a lot, actually, the language which is really I'm rediscovering, Russian language, because uh, it goes half in French, half in Russian, which is a pleasure, just pleasure to pronounce in a way, you know, it's of course easier to act for me in Russian than in English or in French, although in French I kind of uh, getting a bit better uh, no, because it was I spoke French before I uh, studied English. I arrived in, uh, in the United States with the Russian and French. Um, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, very poignant and very touching personal experience. That's why I like it. Right. It's not that it's a replacement of your dance experience. No, I danced, you know, I, I danced uh, recently like three years with Anna Laguna, which was really totally extraordinary experience of working with Mats and Nicholas Eck, you know, and uh, uh, working with Ratmansky and uh, Mark Morris and a lot of great choreographers. I, I've done it. I've done it, you know. Of course, there's always a few people I didn't have a chance to work, you know, like Eric Killian, for example. Kind of, I admire this man, and he's a great guy, and, and his wife, uh, for example, it would be a project I would be, you know, love doing it, you know. Um, you know, you, know that's, uh, you cannot sit in a few chairs at the same time, you know. That's why, you know, I put my you know, dance shoes in the box, you know, for a while, and I am put the heels under me. Not high heels, but, you know, normal the, the street shoes. I will quote a few of your words that you mentioned in 2004. I said many stupid things. Um, then you said that you think at the time you got disappointed a little bit with New York City and the United States, um, because sometimes when you visit Europe, you feel this good old socialism in its good part of it. Uh, you see the public concern about art, you see more young people, young faces in the audience. 
And of course, you didn't agree with the high prices of uh, attending a performance of the opera of $150, etc. You find the, the artistic life in, in the United States, particularly in New York, uh, quite commercial. You know, what I said in 2004, uh, um, 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 I surprisingly <laughs> agree with myself, which is, doesn't happen very often, uh, may I say, may I add. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, I start to perform in small, uh, uh, smallish theatres uh, uh, quite a few years ago. We started to do with my White Oak Dance Project with Mark Morris. Uh, with a live music, or it's a, a, a trio, or it's a, uh, the piano uh, solo um, a tour, and recently with Matzek and Anna Laguna and uh, Nicholas Ek. Um, uh, much smaller theaters, much smaller venues. Well, again, repeat, uh, repeating myself, uh, uh, you know, uh, those uh, glimpses of socialist uh, uh, setups, or it's of Sweden, or it's uh, France, uh, or, uh, or Madrid, or uh, elsewhere, when the uh, tickets are available for young people, 20, 30 euros. Um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's extraordinary pleasure to see young people in the audience, which rarely, rarely, but really rarely you see in the United States. Uh, considering the prices on Broadway uh, at the Metropolitan Opera or Ballet, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, um, uh, nothing I, 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 one can do about it, you know. And that's why my center, you know, in New York, um, uh, my foundation, are built uh, to help young people create art and affordable art and show it. To the, we have a tickets for 15, 20 bucks, you know, in our center. You know, uh, if it's not a performance of Peter Brook, we sometimes co produce with the other uh, theater uh, companies, then, then they are, you know, 50, 60 dollars. Or uh, our resident company, it's Wooster Group, uh, Elizabeth Laconte, great director, it's probably pride of North American avant garde theater. Which is uh, uh, they they perform in our center, uh, you know, three four months out of a year. Uh, this extraordinary experience, you know, and the people are lining in line, you know, around to get in. You know, in the last hour, you could get cheaper seat, you know, and uh, you know we are trying to uh, do something good uh, for young people and young artists. But there is, of course, uh, you know, there is a, a lot of hurdles, you know, in our society, in American society. Uh, but there is ad advantages to be an American because you could start uh, uh, pretty much without any um, problems uh, administratively, uh, like in Europe, uh, your own project. You have to go and struggle and, uh, and uh, raise money and start your own company and build your own base. A bureaucracy in, uh, in Europe is overwhelming and upsetting. You, know, you have to go through the l'escalier de victoire. You have to go to this person, this person will send you that, then, then to ministry, under the ministry, and then they'll send you to the accounting thing and this. Oh, this is, this is, it's impossible here, what's possible there. Over there, pretty much everything possible if you're smart, if you have a good heart and, and, and energy, that's why I love that country. Although we have a huge problems still with the, um, uh, with the racism, with the, um, the fights between Democrats and Republicans, you know, about uh, taking care of uh, <clears throat> education of young people, art education, and uh, and the pure hunger. Uh, the, the richest person, uh, the richest uh, country rather, uh, in the world are uh, uh, you know uh, uh, millions of people uninsured. It's just tragedy and stupidity. Uh, we are spending all this money on uh, wars. You know, and uh, I just, I'm, um, and I'm a big supporter of uh, President uh, Obama. 
And I hope he will win again and he will fight for uh, all of us. Uh, Mr. Bashnikov, thank you very much again for this interview. Um, it was our pleasure to be here with you and we wish you a great success with um, the continuation of, of this tour. Thanks. Sir.